Good morning, my name is James Millington. I'm responsible for end user computing healthcare solutions at VMware. Today we're going to take you through how the digital clinical workspace enables care providers to use the right device at the right time to be able to access the inf information they need to deliver the best possible patient care. So it's early in the morning, I get that emergency call from the hospital and I want to be able to access the hospital information to look at my desktop and take, take a look at the patient information. So, I'm going to take the device that I have near to me, which just happens to be my own personal device, and I'm going to sign into my hospital desktop. That's going to connect me in exactly to where I left my desktop yesterday with my information open. I'll be able to check that information and make an informed decision on the patient's condition, on the latest information, rather than relying on a nurse to have somebody dictate information down the phone to me. So as you can see, I'm at my desktop, I'm in my imaging application, I can take a look and I can make a decision. In this case, I think I really need to head into the hospital. I'm going to move over onto my BYO iPad. So this has got my personal applications on it, my personal photos. IT aren't able to touch any of that, but there is a secure container on this device that has the clinical applications that I need on there to be able to enable me to access the information wherever I am. In this case, I'm going to access my desktop again. I'm going to take that with me so that I can look in the information while I'm taking the cab ride into the, into the hospital. I may also want to access native, digi uh, native mobile applications or the secure email or secure messaging applications that I have. So here, you see, I've got my imaging application. I can take that with me and see how things are going. You see, it's gone from my own device, securely roamed it there. Nothing left on any of these devices. So I arrive at the hospital, and I'm gonna go straight to the patient's bedside, see how they're doing. I'm gonna tap, turn, and treat my patient. So I'm gonna engage directly with my patient. I'm not gonna stand with my back to the patient while I try and sign into the applications, while I try and launch the desktop and wait for that to happen. I can turn, engage directly with the patient, find out how they're feeling after we changed their medications yesterday. Is there any issues with their stomach? Are they feeling okay? Are they eating? By the time I'm ready to input the information, my desktop is ready. It's exactly where I left off. This is saving valuable minutes for every care provider every day in the customers that we work with. We're also enabled, able to enable other modes of use as well. So here I have a hospital-owned um, iPad. This may be kept in a charging rack when I come on shift, I want to pick it up, and I'm going to sign into it as a doctor. When I do that, I get a specific set of applications. I can also sign into this as a nurse and get another specific set of applications. So it's enabling iPads to be used in a multi-user mode to make sure that I can do my job with the right device for the right task at the right time. So there you see, in this case, we've locked down this iPad. There's no app store on it. There's no camera on it. It's just the functionality that I want my care providers to have to enable them to deliver the best patient care. It's not only iPad devices. We also are seeing a lot of these devices, the MC40s, which are being used to improve clinical workflows and clinical communications. Replacing an entire workstation on wheels for a phlebotomist, for example, with this device so they can follow the phlebotomy workflow, are able to scan the badges of the patients, do uh, the patient identity, and make sure that we're treating the right patients with a device that is helping the clinical workflow. But it's not only the care providers that we're enabling. Let's take a look at what some of our customers are doing for patients. Now looking at how IT can affect the patient experience, with 2% of reimbursement going to be based on your HCAP scores, IT are now being looked at as a competitive differentiator and see how we can improve patient care. Here's just a few examples of how we are seeing that being done with customers with our AirWatch platform. Using Workspace ONE to provide a platform to enable mobile devices to play this part. So in this first example, this is a welcome kiosk at a, at a hospital. You'll see that it's locked down into a kiosk mode, a single application mode. So pushing the home button doesn't do anything. When a patient arrives with this application, which is Clockwise MD, they can sign in, they can type in their name, they can say, send me a text message 15 minutes before, I'm, before my appointment is ready. So that they can then go to the hospital cafeteria, have some food, go to a coffee store around the corner, rather than have to wait for who knows how long in the waiting room. So a much better initial customer experience when they enter your organization. 
Another use case that we see is providing patients with a mobile device during their stay. So patients that may have an extended stay. We're seeing a lot of organizations that are rolling out applications such as MyChart Bedside that provide a lot of information to the patient about their stay, impacting their experience. Also rolling out applications like Netflix, Pandora, designed to help the patient have an improved experience while they're in there, as well as being able to improve their engagement. So being able to push down video, for example, that relates to whatever their diagnosis is, that tells them how that's going to affect their life, the changes that they need to make. The idea being if they understand the changes that they need to make, they're more likely to make them, to follow a regimen, to recover and then much less likely to, to be readmitted. So in this case, we're, with uh, Workspace ONE and AirWatch, we're able to lock down this device. So again, we remove the App Store, we remove the camera, we provide only the functionality that the patient needs to be able to interact with the uh, applications that we're giving them to give that much better patient experience. With this, we're also able to take advantage of, advantage of new innovations that are taking place in some of the mobile applications. So. If you follow me over here, we're able to use um, applications such as Gozio. This is detected through the use of a beacon that the device has left the patient room, the patient has left, the, uh, has left their room. So we can detect that and we can open this application, Gozio, which is a wayfaring application, which is going to give them information, ask them where they want to go. Do they need to find a nurse's station? Would they like to go to the, the, the restaurant? and it can guide them how to get there. So they can use this device and it will guide them how to, uh, to the location that they want to get through as they move, move to, uh, throughout the hospital. So again, providing this great experience, securing the device. If the device leaves the building with our geofencing technology, we can essentially turn it into a brick. Factory reset doesn't do anything, so it's not gonna be uh, to become a target for people to come and start stealing devices from you. The final use case that I want to take you through is extending what we've seen. So we've seen the patients and their first experience with you as an organization when they walk in, the patient during their stay with you, and then the patient when they're ready to go home. In chronic conditions, we're seeing organizations that are sending home a, a mobile device with items such as a Bluetooth scale, a Bluetooth blood pressure cuff, a pulse oximeter, and having the patient collect this information on a daily basis and have it sent back to the hospital so they can analyze it and they can look for any worrying trends that may cause a readmit to the hospital. Again, in this case, the organizations that we're working with are sending a fully locked down, fully configured mobile device to the patient, cellular connectivity, so that it's able to write the information back to the healthcare organization on a daily basis. They're able to spot trends, such as a congestive heart failure patient loses a certain amount of weight in a 24-hour period. That can throw a flag. They can change medications immediately, spot the trends, keep the patient out of the hospital, improving the patient's experience, and lowering the costs of a readmission to that healthcare organization. For more information on Workspace ONE and the, and the digital clinical workspace, please go to vmware.com slash go slash healthcare. Thanks very much.